How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing ATX. Today we are going to fish a lake that I have never fished on the channel before, which is surprising considering it's only 10 minutes from my house and runs through the center of downtown Austin. That lake guys is Lady Bird Lake. Lady Bird Lake is normally portrayed as a very hard to fish lake. You know, not a lot of stuff going on out there. It's really, really pressured. A lot of people fish it from the bank and it's just not looked at as a very great lake. So my expectations heading today are not overly high, but I am excited because I was told the fish are already up and spawning considering it's still pretty early March you know around here not a lot of lakes in this area have started to spawn yet so I heard fish are already spawning due to the fact that there's a warm water discharge in Ladybird along with that I heard the lake in general is just fishing well right now so definitely has me interested you know going downtown to fish there would be really really cool especially if we are catching fish so it could make for a really great video especially you know getting our first bed fish of the year but I really do not know what to expect my expectations are not overly high considering I've never really liked this lake very much. I've only caught a few fish out of it ever, and it's just never been overly great just due to how pressured it is. And just there are there are a lot of big fish in it, that's for sure. There are some absolutely monster giant fish, but they're smart and they've seen a lot of lures. So they're just they're really hard to catch. It's not a great lake, but we're gonna go there today, guys. We're gonna see if we make it happen. I'm gonna get the boat hooked up to the truck, guys, and we're going to head out to downtown Austin and see if we can catch some fish on Ladybird Lake. Let's go make it happen. Alrighty folks, here we go. We are underway. We are just gonna be right about here the entire day, just searching the bank, looking for beds. We'll look up here towards the bank and if it's not what I like, we'll keep moving down the river. I don't think I'm gonna try and cover a lot of water today. I think I'm just gonna try and bed fish, but if they seem to already be past the bed stage, then absolutely I can tie some stuff on, you know, and cover water. There's no problem with that. I just don't wanna do that straight out of the gate here. I wanna try and see if I can find some bed fish. fish there we are first one in the morning not a bad one too jeez really solid fish she barely bit it and she also really didn't fight overly hard so i thought she was like a one pounder it's solid too so i don't know if she was on a bed or not i might have just pitched right up on there but regardless we will certainly take it there we are first fish in the morning i keep saying she it's actually a male so maybe a male up on a bed it's a Pretty solid male for the most part, I would say. Really, really pretty guy. Get a little picture of this city there. Really cool. I'll see you, buddy. Sometimes you just gotta go back to the classics. Right there, the good old Texas Rig Sanko getting it done. Haven't really seen a whole lot quite yet. That's a hell of a sign right there. I'm glad to already be on the board. It's a tougher lake. So anytime you can get a fish out of here, it's definitely good. Little tiny guy. Yeah. First bass in a good minute. There we are, the number two on the day. Small, but hey, we'll take them. It's been a bit of a struggle. I just haven't seen a whole lot of fish so far yet, but this is a good sign. The creek's getting warm and I might find more fish just like that. That's a good sign right there, that fish. Guys, I think the further up the creek we get, we're gonna find more fish like that. And this water's getting a lot warmer. So I think these fish should be a lot more willing to eat. Dang it, that was back-to-back -back casts. Oh, man. Good sign, bro. They're hungry. That would have been back-to-back -back casts. That was for sure a fish. He grabbed it and was running with it. All 
All right, like I was saying earlier in the morning, if I didn't find too many fish on beds, which I really didn't find hardly any at all, that means most of them have probably moved out to the main lake and are starting to feed more actively. And in that case, I'm gonna try covering some more water here. We've got a big grass patch I'm fishing over right now. I was over here earlier and it looked really nice and I wanted to cover more water if I had the time to, so I'm back here now throwing one of my favorite search baits. That being a red rattle trap over this grass. We'll see if we get on any here. There's a fish. There's a little guy. Oh, only got one hook in him. There we are. First fish of the day on a moving bait. Only threw it around about five minutes or so. We already got a fish, so good sign, man. The switch might be working. There we go. Number three. I mean, it just does not get any cooler than that. So neat. LMBs in downtown ATX. Oh, I'm hooked up. I had to spit. That's a good fish too. Oh, good fish, good fish. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Come here. Good fish, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. That's nice. No, he's off. Dang it, man. Oh, just couldn't keep him pinned. I mean, I got him right to the boat, so I guess I can count it. But that was the best of the day. I was probably a two and a half, three pounder. Damn it. I didn't know what to do there, really. I don't have a net with me. Ah, dang it. I was loaded like five casts after the last fish. Of course, it's a much better one, too. Just barely got him with one treble in the top of the lip. I mean, I don't know. On the overall count of the day, I'll probably count him, but, you know, didn't really fully get him in the boat, so I don't know how much you can count it. There's another fish. Oh my God, he's tiny. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Really, I land this one, but I can't land the three pounder. God dang it. Hey, I'll take it though. Fish the fish. Nice. Thank you, fishing gods. The three pounder comes off, but we get Mr. Dinky. Another fish. Golly, this one's tiny too. <laughs> When I came out here today, I expected to catch fish like the one I lost, not little tiny guys. <laughs> we'll take it though. Another, another downtown ATX largemouth bass, just not the big one I'm after. Number six on the day, I'll see you, buddy. That's four fish in the matter of about 15 minutes. I think it's safe to say they are probably not on beds anymore and that they are out in the open actively hunting this is crazy man like this spot looked good earlier don't get me wrong but man i didn't think it would produce like this i think we're on a pretty good trend right now too so i think we have a good chance of catching quite a few more if it stays true oh, he hammered it that's a better fish that's a good fish yep good fish i don't think it's as big as the one i, I missed oh he popped off right there dang it ah why are all the good ones popping off? Yeah, that fish actually wasn't even that big, quite frankly. I was only about a pound and a half or just hit it a ton. Fish right there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, another one not hooked very well. There we go. All right. They're not getting hooked well, but we're still getting them. Number seven, it's just chilling, sitting down and he hammered it around near the boat. There we are, another eight. Camera cut out, Rouse letting them go. See you, buddy. There's a fish. On the swim bait. There we are, number eight. First fish today on the swim bait. That was quick, only three casts in. 
They seem to just be hitting everything that's moving today. There we are. There's another fish sitting right there. Pretty guys go get him too. This is just so sick, man. <laughs> I tried, you know, flipping up shallow all morning with no luck, hardly. I mean, we caught two fish, I guess, but you know, it felt like no luck considering it went like three and a half, four hours with only two bites, two fish. Ever since I picked up anything moving, they have just been hammering it. I mean, hammering it. It's been 45 minutes, so oh, that may have been their fish. It's been 45 minutes and I've already caught like six, seven fish now, I think. Six, maybe, I've landed six. Could have caught like eight. I mean, it's just nuts, man. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. I've always kind of written this lake off as a crappy lake for numbers, you know, and it's only really good for maybe a chance of catching a big one, that there's just not a good population of fish in here and it's just not really good for fishing, but this is my first time really fishing it, like in depth from a boat. And man, it is really overperforming. Like I am like amazingly impressed with how well this lake is doing right now. So I'm sorry for anything bad I ever said about Ladybird Lake, man. This place is awesome. Another fish. God, he crushed it. Look how those fish ate that. <laughs> They're not huge, man, but they are so much fun. Look at how he ate the. Jesus. Number nine. That's so sick, man. Another fish. That's number 10. Oh, and he spit it, damn it. <laughs> Shouldn't have spoke too soon. I was like, that's double digits right there. And he spit it. Right at me. And that is number 10. Yes, sir, man. 10 fish on the day. What a day. Oh, a little surprise there, buddy. Number 10 on the day. How sick is that, guys? Oh, that's awesome, man. 10 fish out of Ladybird. I love it, man. Well guys, we are off the water now and I have made the drive home, but we have got to talk about what happened today. This morning, guys, I had such low expectations for what was going to happen today. I was maybe expecting to catch two to three fish. I will tell you, Lady Bird Lake blew them out of the water. Lady Bird Lake, better known as Town Lake by locals here in Austin, is normally considered a lake that is not very good for fishing. It's pretty pressured. It's always been said there's not a whole lot of fish in here, and I've always been told by people that it's just not a good lake to fish and quite frankly I believed it for a long time because of the fact that I fished it from the bank and I will say it is pretty tough from the bank I've never really liked this place from the bank but today was my first time ever fishing it from a boat and wow guys it really blew me away double digits amount of bass I think we caught 10 or 11 we could have caught probably 15 16 could have caught way more than we even did and we caught a lot of fish I was just not expecting that at all some pretty nice ones too you know we probably could have caught one that was up three three and a half pounds it you know jumped to the side of the boat and came off i'm still counting as far as the numbers are concerned but obviously it would have been really nice to have had that fish in my hands but other than that we still had a lot of other nice fish especially like the first one i caught this morning you know and there's bigger ones in there i mean this lake has a ton of potential like what i thought heading into the day was that we weren't going to catch many but if we did catch some they're gonna be really nice size we caught just a ton of fish not all of them were big i mean some of them were tiny but we just caught a lot of fish and this lake just really blew me away i was not expecting this whatsoever at all i've always been told this lake is horrible and i don't know if it's just i really figured something out out or if it just really isn't as bad as people say it is and it can't get cooler too than fishing in downtown austin texas i mean it's just such a cool scene you know it's like what's cooler than fishing in the middle of a city and just slaying fish especially a city like austin you know that's really cool and
and it's just really like high tech and it's just a beautiful looking city i mean it's just really no cooler scene to catch fish like that so guys i am really excited today showed that this lake has a ton of potential we're gonna be definitely heading back a lot more anyway folks really hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did remember to leave a like and subscribe to fishing and text if you are new also go follow me over on instagram the link to that will be down in the description below anyway guys really hope you enjoyed today's video i am just still blown away by what happened today i will see you folks next time back out on the water